Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button for us. It does help. Most of the time, we do game-related repairs, or at least look at items that are game-related. But occasionally, I get a phone or a tablet or some other device across my workbench that I don't necessarily post a video of. But my own watch decided to die. And I decided to do a video on it. So, if you need to know how to change the battery in a Samsung Gear Sport, stick around and we'll show you how to get it done. Hey, welcome back. On the bench today, something a little different. No, it's not a gaming device. It's my watch. Um, the last few weeks or so, I noticed it getting to about 70%, 60%, and then it just falls off the cliff. And I knew the battery was probably getting ready to give up. So, although this isn't gaming related, it's still electronics, and I figured you guys might be interested in seeing what's inside of it. So, we got a simple kit from Amazon with battery and some extra screws and some tape, I guess. Um, it came with a few tools, but we'll uh, we'll see what we need. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Looks like we've got a few screw holes, screw covers around the outside. And we'll probably need something sharp to get into them. Just look like rubber plugs. Oh, and by the way, this is a Gear Sport one of the uh, early ones. And the reason I like this one is uh, I had gotten away from Apple devices a long time ago, and uh, well, a few years ago, and uh, I wanted a watch that was completely waterproof. And this thing has taken a, a beating. I know they don't make it anymore, but it really has been a very good watch. So what do we got in the back of this? Looks like we have some very small tri-wing. So, Let's see, small tri-wing. Maybe we'll use the screwdriver it came with. We'll try that. Is that a try? That's a try. Feels pretty good. Eh, maybe it's not so good. Let's try something else. This one fits better. Looks like the one they came with, maybe a one and a half. Uh, this one's marked a 50, but I believe this one's a little bit bigger. We'll, uh, go through and look at it after in the end. Okay, now looks like maybe we do need to take off the the band. The back might be in the way. And I'm sure a small spudger will get us right into it. Okay. Like there's a rubber seal, some little contacts. It's actually built very well. It's amazing how much they can get into such a small area these days. All right, from here, looks like there's a Phillips screw. There's some connectors. I believe this one's the battery. Just looking at this here, but it may not be. All right, 
Let's find a pointed spudger. See if we can lift the whole chassis out. And we can. Just being careful not to pull any of these ribbons. That one. Oh, well, that explains something. <laughs> it's gone now. Um, or at least not as bad in the first shots. Maybe I'll be able to pull it up. My screen started looking a little rippled. Um, and now that this chassis is out, you can see that battery is bulged. All right, we need to figure out how to get that guy out. I think we need to take this top board off because that battery is captured. Got a couple ribbons here on the side. Might need something a little bit more pointy to get under those. Always work really careful when you're dealing with these little ribbons. And we have a Phillips right there. Sorry if I'm putting my head in the shot. This is rather small work. I don't see any other screws. Looks like there might be a clip here. Let's just, oh, there's a clip here. Sometimes fingernails is the best way to do it. <laughs> that board is actually warped. Let's get this battery out. All right, wow. That thing is puffy. We'll have to dispose of that properly. You can see here, you know, the thickness. All right, so that was pretty quick and pretty straightforward. Uh, here's our ribbon with our power. Looks like there's a little glue on the back side. I'm just going to go ahead and put the contacts in place first. And set the battery down in the tray. Okay, that looks pretty good. We get our board back in place. Our buttons will go back in here. Yeah, we had two clips on the chassis here and here. So let's go ahead and set it back into this one first. And then push it into that one. Then we can put our buttons back in. And 
and this little clip can go back into place. Maybe we'll put that back on once the chassis's there. Wonder if we should clean anything while we're in it. Drop IPA probably won't hurt the sensor. All right, so here's our bottom, our screen. Actually, we're very lucky that the screen didn't crack. You can see here how far down it, it fits down into this plate. Get our screen connector back up in. All right, chassis snap back into place. Get our connectors on. Now, mind you, these ribbons are extremely thin and these uh, PFC connectors are extremely small. So don't force anything. If they line up, they will just snap into place. And let's see, we'll need to put this Phillips back in. And let's go ahead and put our back on. Everything in there looks nice. You know, it came with some new screws. Looks like it came with some new tri-wing screws. But the old ones are in still good shape. We didn't strip any of them out. We're just going to go ahead and use them again. So I guess uh, the nice point of this kit, the screwdriver it came with, I think is a little small for the screws. So if you do kind of booger up the screws, it's nice they give you replacements. Oops. Yeah, we should do it this way. Keep from dropping everything. Well, there's obviously a magnet right there in the chassis. It's going to keep sucking this screw away from us. All right, we can do it this way. Grab it with some tweezers. Get it started. Now, since this is a waterproof watch, you want it to stay waterproof. There was a rubber gasket. You could probably use some sealant, although since this isn't my specialty, I don't have any. But just go ahead and make sure all these screws are snug down correctly. They are small, so don't go crazy on them, but definitely give them a good little twist. Alright, our final step would be to put our 
screw protectors back in. Even if they don't fit real well afterwards, they still will help keep the grime and the nasty out. The real question is, does my watch work again? And it does, look at that. All right, that was just a quick one, but um, I figured you guys wanna see a procedure on something a little different. So, the battery and the kit is linked below. The Amazon links do support the channel. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, you know, go ahead, make the comments. I try to respond to everything that's a real question. And um, I appreciate you being here. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.